Less than 30 years ago, advanced robots were nothing but a pipe dream. Fast forward to today, and this vision is a genuine reality, especially in Japan, which is leading the way in the AI robotic revolution. Not only that, but the country is also obsessed with beautiful women robots that'll melt your heart. From customer service androids to the robot that is starring in a movie, some of the most intelligent and beautiful women in the world happen to be these humanoid robots. Let's have a look at them. Not all robots are as cute as robot dogs. In the same way, human-looking dolls often become the antagonists of horror movies. Humanoid robots tend to send shivers down our spines. That's because they're designed to look exactly like humans, but we can still tell that they aren't. With that being said, we may be reaching the other side of the robotic world with the introduction of a humanoid robot named Asuna. She's the next generation of AI robots, and she's surpassing norms because of her movements and facial expressions that look so incredibly real. While we're still creeped out by certain things about her, like her age, as she is supposed to be just 15 years old, we can't deny that she does look an awful lot like a real girl. And a very pretty one. Her movements are a bit jerky and her speech is like bad lip syncing, but she's definitely pulling it off. In fact, this hyper-real robot is so incredibly human-like that even the reporter covering the convention got confused, mistaking it for one of the idols from the AKB48 band. Like an average Japanese woman, Asuna boasts flawless skin as well as intricate facial features, including ears that are soft and squishy, like real human ears. At present, however, her movements are limited to blinking, yawning, and a few other endearing expressions, controlled entirely by a remote human operator. Asuna has so far appeared on stage and dubbed for actors. Imagine you are talking to a customer service agent with an amazing voice. Obviously, you assume that this agent is a human being. Well, your assumption might be wrong. You could be talking to Nadine, which is hailed as the most humanoid robot in the world. And you could be forgiven for thinking that Nadine is a human, as she has a human-looking body with lifelike features. I mean, just look at her. She's too hot to be a robot. She may not be sparkly like C-3PO, the golden droid of Star Wars fame, but Nadine glows with a charm of her own. She can even recognize you from previous visits, make eye contact, shake your hand, and continue chatting based on previous meetings. And she has a personality to boot. Nadine is capable of holding a conversation, remembers what she was told previously, and gets angry if she is insulted. Nadine was developed by Kokoro Japan, with her software platform developed at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. She is currently working as a customer service agent at AIA Singapore, an insurance company. Nadine was developed using cutting-edge robotics technology to simulate human behavior. She has 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to gather visual and audio inputs. Then there are various perception layers that process these inputs to recognize different faces, gestures, emotions, and behavior, and then respond accordingly. Nadine also has inbuilt chatbots that allow her to handle different queries, and a memory model that remembers different users and conversations with them. If you thought that's it, you'd be wrong. In addition to all these cool features, Nadine can also converse in six languages, namely English, German, French, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese. So, you won't have any problems talking to her. When you speak with your family over a webcam, they may be able to see your face, but they don't have a real body in the room with which they can interact. Why not give them a creepy robot to talk to instead? In Japan, you can actually do this. Meet Actroid SIT, a beautiful lifelike robot from Japanese firm Kokoro. Actroid can function autonomously, talking and gesturing while interacting with people. In fact, researchers have recently demonstrated how improvements to Actroid's behavior can make it look smarter and more expressive than your average android. Actroid now makes eye contact and gestures in the direction of a person trying to speak to her, allowing it to adeptly handle crowds of people. With the new interruptibility feature, the robot can immediately end its current topic and elegantly transition to a new response. Actroid and her 18 gestures, like pointing or waving, also adapt to the location of the speaker, making the person feel like the robot is really paying attention to him or her. 
So even though talking with the Actroid is still far from a natural conversation, the researchers say this improvement makes a big difference in how people perceive the robot. Participants called the android more friendly, sensitive, sophisticated, and warm when the new gesturing system was used compared to a normal gesturing approach. Now, this is one smart robot I would socialize with. Suppose you are a tourist in Japan and want some answers from the local tourist information center. Chances are, like Nadine, your queries could be answered by Junko Chihira, a humanoid robot working in Aqua City, Odaiba, a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront. Don't fall for her killer smile and almost perfect face. She's not real. Not only is Junko Chihira designed to look like a human, but it was given qualities to make it more realistic. Junko is a humanoid robot developed by Toshiba using the technology created by Hiroshi Ishiguru, a robotics researcher at Osaka. Junko Chihira has incredible interaction skills and a wide range of facial expressions. She can also greet tourists in Japanese, English, and Chinese, which makes communication much easier. Junko is also programmed with sign language to help hearing impaired tourists. Toshiba has used various advancements in artificial intelligence to create Junko Chihira. She is embedded with speech synthesis technology and natural language processing, which means she can correctly understand and answer tourist questions. Junko Chihira also has an advanced version, Kane Chihira, which can be programmed to speak any language. Kane Chihira has much smoother movements and intelligence capabilities as she was developed specifically for the tourism and travel industry. When you watch the news, you get to know the latest updates from the news anchor. But now, that news anchor might be a robot. If you are in Japan, you might be getting your daily news from the robot at our number one spot, Erika, a Japanese robot. Also hailed as the most beautiful female AI robot, Erika was created by Hiroshi Ishiguru, the director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University. She is one of the most intelligent humanoids developed in Japan, and while Erika cannot walk, she can easily interact with human beings and change her facial expressions according to the conversation. This is possible for Erika because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement. She also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology that makes it easy to track different faces in a room. And while she is unable to move her arms yet, it is not that big of a problem, as she is working as a news anchor. Also, Hiroshi Ishiguru seems to think Erika has a soul, but that is a question that creates a debate more on robotic metaphysics and less on technology. Erika was also taught to act, applying the principles of method acting to artificial intelligence. She is expected to star in a movie, too. She would be the first humanoid to do so. Which one of these humanoid AI robots did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.